after enduring another very long, trying work week, overtime included, I decided to escape the city and get out to some place very different. So I decided to head down to Mount Rainier, and uh, this is where I ended up camping. This is not the best camping spot I have ever had. As you can hear, I had to park next to a highway. Um, wasn't very noisy last night, but it's starting to get a little noisy now. It's uh, late morning, early afternoon. Still, this is better than dealing with the madness in the city. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta say, even with the increasing road noise of the highway in the last few minutes, this is not a bad backyard to have for a night. Well, I had a slightly different spot in mind when I headed up here, but um, after working overtime yesterday, I just wasn't in a uh, real good mood to hit the road quite so soon once I clocked out. So by the time I get up here, the spots, all the spots that I uh, intended to park at last night were taken. So that's how I wound up with this spot just off the highway. So at the moment, I am in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest, uh, which I think is odd because Mount Baker is very far north of here, but just a few miles south of here, uh, where I'm at right now, is Mount Rainier. Um, but I guess the forest has to start and stop someplace. So, uh, so I'm I'm still in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie Forest, but incredibly close to Mount Rainier. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a better look at Mount Rainier because I can't see it where I'm at, obviously, surrounded by trees. So I think um, my plan was to get a little bit of work done on my van. Not really work, just uh, cleaning and organizing, things like that, that need to be done from time to time. I just haven't had time to do them this past week. Uh, but because I'm up here, I don't much feel like doing cleaning and organizing on the van. Why would I do that when uh, I've got all this forest around to explore? So I think I'm going to explore and do maintenance stuff later. Yeah, it's a good plan, I think. I decided to take a uh, coffee break here. I, I'm stopped at Ranger Creek State Airport. This is a really popular place to camp. And it's probably a good thing I didn't try to camp here because it looks full. Uh, a lot of people around here. I also don't really want to camp next to a lot of people. Camping next to a road is one thing. Camping with a bunch of people is not my idea of fun. So while this is a pretty simple meal in that it's just leftover rice and beans, I found that adding a really good salsa uh, really makes it kind of spectacular. And I found one recently, this is Yellowbird, and they, interestingly, they, they call it Serrano Condiments. I have another one that they make that they call Jalapeno condiment. They don't call it hot sauce, they don't call it salsa, but they call it this weird long name instead. Um, this one's good. Really good. Uh, this one, though, I just got recently, and I think it's probably the best bottled, uh, you know, jarred or bottled hot sauce, condiment, salsa, whatever you want to call it, I've ever found. Um, little on the spicy side, so if you don't like spicy, you probably want to stay away from this one, but um, but wow, it's got probably the best flavor of any jarred, store-bought, hot sauce, whatever you want to call it, I've ever had. So that makes these simple little burritos 
pretty spectacular. And I think, thinking about this, I really wanted to get up and drive up uh, some Forest Service roads. I did last night looking for a camp spot. Uh, they were really rutted and bad. Um, in fact, even the road coming in here to the airport is rutted and bad. I think because they get a lot of snow and ice and, of course, rain too in this area. And uh, so it makes the forest roads pretty, pretty rough. Um, I, I'm thinking because I've got to go back to work tomorrow, I don't have to be there until 4 o'clock, um, 4 p.m., uh, I don't think I'm going to go on any more forest roads. They're just a little too too much for my low clearance van. Um, I, I have to go really slow uh, down them. So uh, I think versus doing that, I'd rather see a little bit more of this area since I haven't been out here too much. So I think I'm gonna just um, drive around uh, Mount Rainier and uh, that way I can get to see a little bit of this area, which I really haven't been uh, around much. I've been here one time in uh, in this area, one time since I've been here, and all the time I've been here. So I think, uh, I think I'd just rather go for a drive and um, check out the area versus taking a long time down one little forest road. So that's my idea. So uh, burritos. Hmm. Burritos are quick and easy so I can get back on the road. Well, there she is, Mount Rainier, the king of mountains. Well, this has been some of the most stunning driving I have done in a while, but uh, it's also had a couple of white knuckle moments. Uh, that little highway had some drops, some big drops. You're trying to pay attention to the uh, twists and turns uh, and also look at the scenery. But uh, some of the best driving I've done in a long time. It's beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful up here. So I'm back near the Seattle area now. Uh, I ended up just driving and driving. Um, I really should have driven through Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, there's a nice drive. It's a little bit of a white knuckle drive, but uh, a really beautiful drive uh, through the park. I've driven through the park before I've driven that road before and so since I had I decided to do something different I drove down to the town of Packwood and filled up with gas as that was why I went to Packwood uh, and then from Packwood I took a small forest forest service road uh, up to Gifford Pinchot National Forest so that ran me just south of Mount Rainier National Park. It's a beautiful drive and you get little glimpses of Mount Rainier as you're driving along. I went through Gifford Pinchot, being that that's a national forest, I would have an option to disperse camp uh, if I felt like it. Um, unfortunately, uh, it was really crowded there. There were people camped everywhere along the side of the road. I don't know if I would have found a place to camp. It was just super popular there, and so I just kept driving. Uh, and then I kept driving until I got back into phone service, and as soon as I got back into cell service, I got a text telling me I didn't have to go into work tomorrow. I gotta go back to work on Monday, so I got another day off. So I should have camped out, but uh, oh well. Um, I guess that just means I've got time to work on the van tomorrow. Well, now it's dinner time and I need something a little more hearty than what I had for lunch. So I made up some mashed potatoes and I hesitate when I say made up because I'm using 
potato flakes. I would have never used these things in the past, but they're actually kind of handy to have in the van. I just started using them recently. Uh, anyway, I've made up some mashed potatoes. I've got them here, and they only take a minute to make uh, those things. And then I'm going to make up some little salmon patties, um, just using some tinned salmon. This is not my favorite stuff either, but again, handy to have in the van. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, um, that can of salmon. It looks a little bit like cat food at the moment, uh, but we're not going to worry about that. And I'm going to put a little bit of that mashed potato in it and just mix it up. Um, normally you would put a egg in this to kind of bind it together. And I haven't been buying eggs lately, so I'm just going to try it without the egg. And I'm imagining it's not going to hold together all that well, but it should work out fine. I think the mashed potato is sticky enough. It should hold it together and make a little patty out of it. So I'll just um, use my hands and make up a couple little patties out of it. And I've got my pan preheating here with some coconut oil. I'm gonna fry them up, get a little color on them. Yeah, it's kind of like I thought. They're a little uh, soft without the egg. So I had a little trouble flipping them over. See that one I kind of uh, tore apart a little bit but they've got some color on them from getting fried. I think they're gonna be tasty anyway. All right, well, since my lunch was kind of meager and I don't have any fresh vegetables in the van at the moment, I need to go shopping, but I can do that tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna add a little packet of curry, uh, vegetable curry mix. Um, this is another shelf stable, van friendly kind of thing. So this is kind of like me cooking, but I'm not really cooking, obviously. Um, these little salmon patties are looking good. So I think I need to clean out the pan. I will just heat this, uh, heat this vegetable masala up right in my pan and that'll be it. I'll be ready to eat. All right, there's my home cooked meal in quotations, yes, uh, I cooked this. Um, I did heat it up, you know, I kind of put it together. Uh, so yeah, I'll call it home cooking. Um, I don't always eat fancy, and lately I've really been trying to cut back and save money. So I haven't been eating out so much. I'm trying to do a little more cooking tonight. I decided to uh, opt for the easy way out, but um, this is fine by me. So there was my day. Some great stuff this little weekend. Uh, packed a lot in, in a day and a half, but uh, it's been pleasurable. And now I get a whole nother day off uh, unexpectedly. So need to decide what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Probably a lot of sleep, probably a lot of drinking coffee, maybe a little more um, home cooking. Uh, anyway, a day off is a day off. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.